The PedalBot PB-M8 is a MIDI foot controller with 8 onboard switches. At the back of the unit, it has an auxiliary jack that you can use to connect either an external dual foot switch, or an expression pedal. It has 3 outputs for MIDI. The U variant has a USB MIDI host output for connecting to USB MIDI slave devices, such as the Zoom Multi Stomp pedals or the Boss GT1. Both the U and the standard version have a 5 pin MIDI output for your MIDI capable effects, as well as a USB slave port for connecting to a Windows PC. You can use the PB M8 to send MIDI messages to a DAW or a standalone guitar effects processor program such as the BIOS FX2. Here is a short demonstration of the PB M8 being used with the BIOS FX2 to toggle effect blocks, as well as control the phrase looper function. The onboard switches on the PB M8 are chronologically numbered from top to bottom, left to right. Each of the switches can be configured to various functions. In this example, we have set all of the switches in bank 1 to send MIDI control change messages. Switches 1 to 6 are set to CC1 state function. This function sends only one pair of CC number and value every time the switch is pressed. This is what we want because BIOS FX automatically toggles the state of a parameter whenever it receives a CC number, regardless of its value. To set a switch to the CC1 state function, make sure that the Edit Enable function is enabled in the Setup menu when the Edit Enable LED is on.
press and hold the switch you want to configure until edit is shown in the screen. Press the red switch repeatedly to browse to various parameters until you find the function parameter. Then use the purple switches to scroll through available options for this parameter. Look for the CC1 status shown in the screen. Then press the red switch again to move to the next parameter, which is the channel for this message. You can set this to any number between 1 to 4, as long as bias FX is set to receive in that channel. Use the purple switches to select the proper channel. Next, we set the control change number itself. This will identify the switch and map it to a parameter in the bias FX2. Press the red switch to move to this parameter as shown in the screen. Use the purple switches to select a CC number from 0 to 127. You can use any CC number for bias FX but make sure that this value is different from every switch. Since we are going to use the switches to only toggle FX on the bias FX software, we don't need to mind the MIDI CC value assigned to this switch. Bias FX will automatically toggle whatever effect block the CC number is assigned to when it receives a message with that said CC number. To save the configuration of the switch, press and hold the red switch until save is shown on the screen. Follow the previous steps to set the other switches to the same function but with different control change numbers. Continuing with the example, we will assign switch 7 and 8 to CC scroll functions. This function scrolls through the values of a global CC number assigned in the setup menu. We can use this feature to adjust a value parameter in the bias FX like the master volume of an amplifier. Switch 7 we will assign CC scroll down, while switch 8 will be scroll up. To do this, do the same process as before on the other switches to enter and change parameter values in the edit menu. In the function parameter select CC scroll as shown on the screen. The CC channel and number for the scroll function is assigned in the setup menu. To change these parameters, press both switch 1 and 8 at the same time to enter the setup menu. Use the blue and red switches to look for the CC channel parameter as shown at the screen. Then use the purple switches to select the desired channel for the CC scroll function. Then press the red switch to move to the CC number parameter and select a CC number with the purple switches. While in the setup menu, we can also set the axe input to work with an expression pedal and calibrate it properly. Use the red switch to look for the axe function as shown in the screen. Then with the purple switches, select the expression pedal function. Then press the red switch to calibrate the toe down position. While in this parameter, move your expression pedal to the toe down position and wait until the display is blinking. Then press the red switch again to calibrate the heel down position. Move the expression pedal to the heel down position and wait until the display starts blinking. Then press the red button to lock in the values and move to the next parameter. Note that the steps should be done in the proper sequence for the pedal to work properly. To save the changes on the setup menu and reboot the device, press and hold the red switch. The expression pedal is assigned per preset in the PB, M8, and to make the expression pedal work in our example, we need to enable it on a preset. To edit a preset, press both switches 1 and 4 at the same time until edit is shown on the screen. Then press the red switch to look for the expression channel parameter. Use the purple switches to enable the expression pedal with a particular MIDI channel. Then press the red switch to move to the CC number parameter. Use the purple switch to select a CC number to assign to the expression pedal. Then press and hold the red switch to save the preset configuration. Note that the expression pedal will only work with presets that have a value for the expression channel parameter. Also, note that you can assign different MIDI channels and CC numbers for the expression pedal per preset. Since we are done setting up the controller, we can lock all the assignments by disabling the Edit Enable parameter in the Setup menu. Enter the Setup menu by pressing Switch 4 and 5 at the same time. 
Then use the red and blue switches to look for this parameter and use the purple switches to turn this parameter off. This will disable long press to edit, and will allow scroll switches to scroll continuously when held for more than one second. Now let us look at how we can map the switches to BIOS FX. Connect the PB-M8 controller to your computer using a USB Type-B cable. Make sure that the controller is recognized by a Windows by going to the Windows settings and clicking Devices. Then start BIOS FX2. After starting the program, go to the settings menu by clicking the gear icon on the upper right hand part of the window. Select audio settings menu, and enable the PedalBot PB-M8 controller in the active MIDI inputs box. Then go to settings again and select MIDI settings. Enable MIDI control and change the MIDI channel to the same MIDI channel you assigned the switches on the PB-M8. Click anywhere in the window to exit the settings menu. In this example, we will be using this simple preset I used in the introduction which has a few always on blocks, like the gate and compressor, and a few effect blocks that we want to toggle real time with the PB-M8 on board switches. I also assigned some of the switches to control the phrase looper function in the BIOS FX2. Let's try assigning switch 1 on the PB-M8 to toggle the WA effect block in BIOS FX. Right click on the effect block then select the assignment option under MIDI. Next, in the toggle parameter of the WA effect, click the learn button. Then press the switch on the PB-M8 you want to assign to that parameter. BIOS FX will automatically map to that effect parameter whatever CC number the switch was assigned with. Click the done button to finish the assignment. Next, let's try assigning switch 2 to toggle the drive pedals on my BIOS FX preset. Right click on the effect block and click on assignment. Then in the effect parameter, click the learn button. Then press switch 2 on the PB-M8. Click on the done button to finish the assignment. Do the same process to the other effect blocks you want to assign to a switch on the PB-M8. Next, we want to control the WAGA effect with our expression pedal. Assuming that we have an active preset with the expression pedal parameter enabled with a MIDI channel and CC number, moving the expression pedal should make the PB-M8 show the current expression value. Now, on the BIOS FX, right-click on the WAH effect block and select Assignment option under MIDI. In the Man Suite parameter, click the Learn button. Move the expression pedal to send the assigned CC number. BIOS FX will map the CC number to the Manual Suite parameter automatically. Lastly, let's use the CC scroll feature we assigned to switches 7 and 8 to adjust the volume of the preset, by assigning it to the volume pedal block on the BIOS FX. Right click on the block then a select the assignment option under MIDI. In volume parameter, click on the learn button. Then press either switch 7 or 8 to send a message with the assigned CC number. You can now change the volume of your signal by just pressing either switch 7 or 8. You can also press and hold to change the value continuously. To assign looper functions on the BIOS FX, select the looper icon in the upper right hand corner of the window, then click the MIDI button. The click the learn button on the function you want to assign to a switch then press the appropriate switch. In the MIDI settings menu, you can also assign various functions to the PB-M8 like the tuner, scenes, and other utility functions. With PedalBot PB-M8, 
You can now use the BIOS FX2 in a live setup just like any other guitar multi-effects unit. For more information, contact us on our Facebook page. Thank you for watching.